in America and globally, it's hard enough to be black as it is. And I can't also imagine being queer. To deal with the trials and tribulations every day of white supremacy, but then you can't even seek refuge in your own community because homophobia has always been a thing in our community. From family members, friends, even timelines, people on a regular basis are attacking people in the queer community with the same narratives, rhetoric, uh, so on and so forth that they combat on a regular basis around things like racism, sexism, classism, doing a one for one with white supremacists. When people say things like I've seen recently, um, heterophobic, for instance, that's no different than a white person saying reverse racism. When people say things like, oh, queer people don't care about black issues in black lives. Well, again, you can be black and queer. As a matter of fact, some of the most prominent figures in our history have been black and queer. Audre Lorde, James Baldwin, the founders of Black Lives Matter. So with that being said, we need to assess far better as a community our biases and our ignorances around the queer community. Because frankly, we're no different than the white supremacists that we talk about on a regular basis. We can't expect white people who are decent and progressive to go out on a regular basis and combat white supremacy, but in our own communities, if you're not a person in the queer community, you don't combat homophobia. It's literally a one for one. And frankly, I'm sick of it because as a black community, we will never move on unless it includes all of us.